Good evening, I'm Karen Lee. You're watching CBS 4 News at 10 o'clock, also streaming on CBSN Denver. I'm Jim Benneman. Denver's order to wear face coverings inside public places takes effect on Wednesday, and that includes Denver International Airport. Masks will be just one of the changes to make travel safer. Tonight, we're taking a closer look at what you'll encounter from the time you arrive at the terminal till you take your seat on the aircraft. Our Karen Morfitt has more on our top story. Karen, travelers seem to be understanding of the changes? Jim, those we spoke to say that they know that these changes are certainly necessary. Although travel is much different now, they say it's the way to get back to some sense of normalcy. It's not the hustle and bustle of an airport that we're used to seeing, but travelers are again taking to the skies. We'll see a lot of changes, that's for sure. I saw a lot of change flying in today. At Denver International Airport, that means new social distancing measures, hand sanitizing stations, and soon everyone must have a mask on. Right now, we don't have any other alternative. In addition to masks, airlines have introduced new cleaning procedures and their own version of social distancing. On Frontier, an extra 40 bucks ensures an empty seat beside you. The bottom line is, is you don't have to have anything more than that uh, to be safe on Frontier. We just recognize that some people want a little more comfort and convenience. CEO Barry Biffle says with flight loads starting to bounce back, they can't make the change without a fee. It's just simple economics. About a third of the aircraft is middle seats. So that would mean if, if we want to do that permanently, that would mean everyone needs to pay 50% more. Some travelers disagree and say it's a charge they can work around. It seems like it should be part of the flight experience. I have heard that other airlines are making a de determination to make the, the middle seat uh, open without any, any additional costs. Others see it as business. Each airline, you know, has their own philosophy. They're going to do what they have to do to try and survive. Now, we did check around and a number of other airlines are capping passengers or maybe just not booking that middle seat. And they're doing it with safety in mind and to help with spacing. And uh, they're doing it so without any additional costs right now. For now, we're live in Denver. Karen Morfitt covering Colorado First. All right, Karen, thank you.